<laughs> Dr. Darian is here and he's answering one of your medical questions. Let's check it out. Here it is. What is actually measured in my complete blood count test panel? And how often should I be tested? That's from Kathy A. Great That's, question. So this is a great question because this is one of the most common tests that we do in the emergency room and private offices when you're getting your blood tested. And so what does it look for? We're looking at your blood mainly to see if you have enough healthy blood cells. So I just want to show you something. Our blood is really complex. There are many different cells inside of it. You've got your white blood cells that help you to fight infection, your red blood cells that help to carry oxygen, your platelets that help you to stop you from bleeding. And then we also have different levels called hemo hemoglobin and hematocrit. These are tests that we as doctors look at to help understand, again, if you have enough healthy blood cells. Hemoglobin helps us to understand how much oxygen you're carrying. Hem hematocrit helps us to understand the percent of red blood cells in your blood. And guys, when those numbers trend down, that creates the most common problem that we call anemia. Mm. So how do you read the results? <laughs> so first and foremost, when do you get this checked? You should probably get your blood tested at least every year with your annual checkup. And when we get these results, I hope my friends are listening so that they don't send me the results. But when you get these results electronically, as most of us do, first and foremost, check your reference ranges. When you get the result, you'll be able to tell if it's normal or abnormal. Mm -hmm. Also understand that when you get a result and it's abnormal, it doesn't automatically mean that you have disease. Sometimes there can be changes due to your diet, your exercise, other medications. So be sure to follow up with your doctor about your results, ask what you can do to change that for the better, and then what is the next step in terms of when you're going to get that test. Or you can just call Dr. Darian if you work with oh, him. Oh, I would if like, you're I just Google. Google. If you're Google, 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 Google everything. Spiral. I Either. blow his phone up. Yeah, so yeah. what's your prescription for wellness now? My prescription for wellness is number one, what do we do when we get those results? So mm -hmm. I think it's important, let's remind everyone about what to do when you get that result, when you get that email. I know it causes a lot of stress. Again, we'll remind, number one, check that reference range. The numbers can be too high or too low. My first question is always, what was it before, so that you can find the trend? Also remember that abnormal levels also don't always mean disease. Remember, your activity, your behavior, medications can change those results. And then also remember that you should always talk to your doctor about your results, figure out when your next test is going to be. And then some people might need more than one test a year for surveillance or monitoring, depending on their diagnosis. Yeah, every time I Google something, I'm like, oh my God, am I dying? Oh my God, it just And then that's when me. I get a text from you. Yes, yes, yes. 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 I text him all the time. I about once a week. <laughs> I text all the time. <laughs> I, too, am guilty. That's all good. All right, folks, we would love to hear from you, so hit us up on Instagram with all of your medical questions for our medical unit at ABC GMA3. He's a good friend to have. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.